night's big story, a big day in the bluegrass. Yeah, sports betting is officially legal. And LEX 18 Sean Moody is at Red Mile in Lexington, where wagering is off to an exciting start. Hey, Sean. Yeah, welcome to Lexington's very first official sports book. This is the Caesar sports book inside the Red Mile here. This is a place that they've been working to get ready ever since the legislature passed sports betting earlier this year. And clearly there's demand for it. People were lined up outside the door at 10 a.m. before the place opened, ready to place those first bets. Over in Louisville, too, sports betting is also taking place. Churchill Downs was the site for the governor's ceremonial first bet. LX18 political reporter Carolina Buchik caught up with him as he made that bet. Today's call to post at Churchill Downs represented something new. The official start of sports betting in the Commonwealth. Are you ready to accept the first sports bet in Kentucky history? Yes, sir. Governor Andy Bashir put a few bucks down as he made the first official sports bet in Kentucky. Well, what did he bet on? Victory for the Cats and the Cardinals, and then something that unifies all of Kentucky. And we bet the under on Duke, uh, rooting for them to tank. Many others came to the sports book at Churchill Downs to make their bets too. Kentucky covers spread against Easter. And also cats and cars cover big numbers this weekend. The governor says this is what people have been wanting for years now, and now they have access to it, which is expected to help out the state as well. You know, people need to do it responsibly, but these are entertainment dollars that people now have the choice uh, to make and to participate. It's going to keep people uh, in state and, and the first couple rounds of the NCAA tournament is going to bring people to Kentucky and continue to supercharge tourism. Bashir hopes Kentucky can also build off of this momentum and legalize full casino gambling too. It is uh, wanted, desired and demanded by the citizens of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and I hope we can get there in the next couple of years. But for now, sports betting alone is expected to bring in about $23 million in revenue for the state in the first year. And some experts say that $23 million estimate is a low expectation. They argue Kentucky will make more than that, and the governor agrees. You know, it's a number that we can work off of and set reasonable expectations, but I expect, if not this year, because we're starting in, in September, but in a full year next year, I, I think I would take the over on that. For now, in Louisville, Carolina Butrek, LXCT News. So a whole lot of excitement as people are able to step up to these machines and the betting counter for the very first time. This is something that they say they've typically had to go out of state to do, and they've done that in years past. Now they can do it right here in Lexington. I don't see them scoring against the Niners defense. For the first time in Kentucky history, people are analyzing like that inside a sports book here in Lexington. I mean, I don't think the Titans are any good, so. Before the NFL officially kicks off tonight on LAX 18, people across the Commonwealth are getting their bets in. The first one that I did, I did an anytime touchdown parlay. Alexander D'Angelo and Nicholas Young said they typically head out of state once a season to do this. This one worries me because I don't know about Burrow just yet. Now, they're just a few minutes away from placing their bets. The Caesar Sportsbook inside Red Mile had a steady stream of people all day. Senator Damon Thayer and Governor Andy Bashir stopped in to place bets. Thayer on the Bengals to win the Super Bowl, Bashir on Kentucky to win the NCAA tournament. There are five registers here where you can place bets with people or 14 electric kiosks. If you prefer it old school, I like Kansas City over the night. There are also paper charts to do your homework. Walter Hamilton and Michael Ellison spent some time figuring out their bets. They're thankful they don't have to go all the way to Indiana or Ohio anymore. Man, I tell you, I've been waiting years to have this. I used to drive up to Indiana about uh, two or three times a month to make bets. So now I can just drive around the corner to the Red Mile. Legal sports betting was never a sure thing here in Kentucky. Now, these bettors are hoping for just a little more good luck. Oh, I like money, so I might as well try to win something. Now, for the next three weeks, sports books like this one here in Lexington are the only place where you can legally place bets. Starting on September 28th, though, smartphone apps that allow betting will become legal here in Kentucky. Of course, the NFL kicks off just a little while here on LAX 18. So as those games get underway, we expect the sports book here is going to be plenty busy. It stays open until midnight.